Hi and welcome back to our JAMP training. Today we're going to talk about how to create a configuration profile. Configuration profiles are what we formerly called restrictions when we were working in Meraki. So to get started, make sure you're logged into the site. At the top you'll want to click on mobile devices. Then on your blue bar on the left, please find configuration profiles. Now when you receive your iPads and they're ready for student use, they will have profiles installed on them. These profiles are coming from the district level and they are what we would call a least restrictive environment. So there's not many restrictions put on the iPad. You'll need to talk with your I-team and principal to decide what restrictions you want on your iPads. When you're ready to add a restriction, we're going to click on New. And we've got to give our restriction a name. So for this purpose, we are going to call this one No Camera. Elementary. Okay, because what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the camera for an elementary school user. Sometimes we run into situations where children do inappropriate things and they do not need to have use of the camera on their iPad and this would allow you to turn it off just for one particular student. So under description, I'm going to add, turns off the camera for user. For the site, you're going to choose your school. Under category, you may certainly add categories to this. All we have in here now is elementary, middle, and high. I'm going to choose elementary. And our distribution method is going to be installs automatically. We do not want to make this available in self-service. If you put this in the self-service mode, when students get their iPad, they could literally go into the self-service center and turn off their camera and not even know that they did it. So we're going to put this in as install automatically. And then on our left-hand navigation bar, we're going to click on restrictions. We need to configure our restriction for this particular profile. So click configure. And what you're going to find is a list of everything that can be restricted on an iPad. Whether it's under functionality, as you can see, there's quite a long list. We also have applications and then media content. Again, you'll need to really talk with your principal and your I-team about what you wish your profile to look like. If you are at an elementary level school, you probably don't want to show all movies. You might want to restrict it down to the G level. Um, I will say this, under Allow Apps, you do need to keep it at Allow All Apps, or you'll find even some of the very basic apps are not available for your students to download. The app developers themselves actually create the restriction of ages for them, and, you know, teachers kind of find a way to use apps in more creative ways than what the original developer had intended it. So keep um, apps at, at Allow All Apps. Okay, so we're going to go back to functionality, and to turn off the camera, it's actually our very first option on here, allow use of camera. So you get from these iPads, the camera is turned on. What we want to do is take the check mark off so that we are not allowing the use of camera. After that, we're going to hit save. Again, remember this is not Google Drive, so we do have to make sure that we save in this program. And then we're going to go up to scope. Okay, right now, this particular restriction has not been turned on for anyone, so we need to edit the scope. You can either click the edit button in the bottom right hand corner or click E on your keyboard, which also puts it into edit mode. Once you are here, the first thing we're going to do is target mobile devices, and you have a choice of all mobile devices or specific mobile devices. If you were to shoot this out to all mobile devices, all students would lose use of their camera on their iPad. So let's leave this at specific mobile devices. We're going to target specific users. Again, you could target all users. We're going to click Add. And as you can see, we do not have many particular users at this school. It's all going to be based on the iPad serial number as to which camera gets turned off. So if this was the serial number of the iPad in question, I would want to click Add next to it. I could also come up here and filter the results by t 
typing in the serial number to find it. But I'm just going to click Add here. And now that particular iPad, once I hit Save, will have the camera turned off. So here we go, clicking Save. Our profile is set up. Our profile has to do with the restriction of a camera. And now that camera cannot be used on the iPad. Okay, again, we want to keep this in the least restrictive environment mode, meaning that you want to set up your profiles to really only have one restriction per profile. Because if you set up multiple restrictions on the same profile, all of the profiles go down to the particular iPad in question. So if you were to choose multiple things, such as turning off the camera and turning off Siri, and you shoot that profile out, then the student won't have access to either one of them. So again, keep it with just one restriction per profile. If you have any additional questions, please be sure to see your instructional technology specialist. Thanks for watching.